Hi, I'm Greg and welcome to another episode of Passion of the Geeks Unplugged. Usually Pat and I talk about geek and pop culture and everything else we enjoy, but sometimes there are things that only one of us is an expert in. This is what Passion of the Geeks Unplugged is for. Shorter, unedited and straight to the point. Unplugged. This week I would like to talk about the Oscar nominations. It's been a few days, so it's technically not news anymore. But I thought, yeah, why not go through the list anyway and share my opinions? Because I sure do have some. I'm just reading off the Oscar list on the official homepage, uh, oscars.org. So the order everything appears in is theirs. And yeah, let's see whether or not I can come up with some coherent thoughts. Let's go. I'm gonna start with actor in a leading role. Nominees Riz Ahmed for Sound of Metal, Chadwick Boseman for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Anthony Hopkins for The Father, Gary Oldman for Mank, and Stephen Yen for Minari. Uh, I've seen uh, Sound of Metal and I really, really liked uh, Riz Ahmed's performance. I've seen Mank and it was fine. Uh, Minari, The Father, and Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Unfortunately, I haven't seen those yet, but especially when it comes to Minari, I have heard great things. Uh, Chadwick Boseman, yeah, unfortunately, a posthumous nomination. So maybe that's one reason why he's going to have a good chance here. Uh, Anthony Hopkins usually does a good job. If I had my pick here, I would probably go for Riz Ahmed, uh, Sound of Metal, pretty good movie, and his performance, yeah, very, very, very strong. Yeah, if things go not the way as I would like them to go, maybe Gary Oldman. I'd be okay with Chad McBoseman, though. Uh, one name I'm kind of missing here is Delroy Lindo from The Five Bloods. Uh, I just thought his performance there was really, really good, so... Guess I'm a member of the Delroy Lindo Was Robbed Club. Moving on to actor in a supporting role. Nominees Sasha Baron Cohen for Trial of the Chicago 7, Daniel Kaluuya for Judas and the Black Messiah, Leslie Odom Jr. One Night in Miami, Paul Racy, Sound of Metal, and Lakeith Stanfield for Judas and the Black Messiah. Uh, I've seen Trial of the Chicago 7, Sound of Metal. Unfortunately, I... Did not have the chance, or yeah, it's not out here, uh, to see Judas and the Black Messiah and One Night in Miami. Uh, one thing that kind of jumps out here is why are Daniel Kaluuya, Kaluuya and Lecky Stanfield both nominated in a supporting role? I don't know what's uh, happening there. Uh, while I liked Sasha Baron Cohen in The Trial of the Chicago 7, I don't really think that's that strong of a performance there so yeah honestly uh just as in the uh, actor in a leading role i probably would give it to paul, Ra paul racy because yeah sound of me uh, metal really good and his performance grounded that movie quite a lot so yeah don't know what to think looking forward to judas and the black messiah though i've heard many many good things about that movie Actress in a leading role. Nominees Viola Davis for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Andra Day for The United States vs. Billy Holiday, Vanessa Kirby, Pieces of a Woman, Frances McDormand, Nomadland, and Carrie Mulligan, Promising Young Woman. Unfortunately, I've only seen Promising Young Woman, and I quite liked that movie as well. So, yeah, I'd be okay with Carrie Mulligan, very strong performance. Uh, obviously, Viola Davis, always a good choice as well. She's a really, really talented, uh, yeah, talented actress as well. Not too familiar with uh, Under Day. Vanessa Kirby, I've seen her in things, strong as well. And yeah, Frances McDormand, I mean, who doesn't love her? So, yeah, just from reading the names, pretty open field here. Actress in a supporting role. 
Nominees Maria Bakalova for Borat's subsequent movie film Delivery of Prodigious Bribe to American Regime for Make Benefit Once Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan. Yeah, come on. I, I just, I would really love the presenter. I, I just hope the presenters have to say that name out loud. <laughs> Glenn Close, Hillbilly Elegy. Wasn't she nominated for a Razzie as well for that? Olivia Coleman, The Father. Amanda Seyfried for Mank and Tu Young Yan for Minari. Uh, as I said, I've only seen Mank and Borat. I have, haven't heard good things about Hillbilly Elegy. So, yeah, but I'm really, really looking forward to Minari. Uh, Olivia Coleman, usually very, very good. So, she's probably really good in uh, The Father as well. But let's be honest. Maria Bakalova would be kind of fun here. I mean, she basically saved American democracy, so yeah. Animated feature film. Nominees. Onward by Dan Scanlon and Corey Ray. Over the Moon by Glenn Keane, Jenny Rim and Palin Chow. A Sean the Sheep movie, Pharma Get On. Richard Phelan, Will Beecher and Paul Cooley. Soul, Pete Doctor and Dana Murray. And Wolf Walkers, Tom Moore, Ross Stewart, Paul Young, and Stefan Roland. Uh, unfortunately, I've only seen the two Pixar ones, Onward and Soul. I quite liked both of them. I've heard really good things about Wolf Walkers, so I'm definitely looking forward to see that one. But I'd be okay with Soul, because yeah, I really, really liked that one. Also, I have to admit, and kind of my category for Soul uh, shows up a little bit later. But yeah, uh, from what I've heard, definitely a good uh, choice of selections here. Cinematography. Nominees. Sean Bobbitt for Judas and the Black Messiah. Eric Messerschmidt for Mank. Darius Walshki for News of the World. Joshua James Richards for Nomadland. And Fidon Papa Michael for The Trial of the Chicago 7. Uh, yeah, again, I can't really say that much. Uh, News of the World is, I think, on Netflix or on Amazon Prime, so I'm probably going to check that out uh, rather soon. Uh, other than that, I mean, cinematography in Mank was pretty good, as kind of, yeah, is always the case in David Fincher movies. But, yeah, I wouldn't be totally against maybe supporting one of the Maybe smaller films like Nomadland or Judas and the Black Messiah, even though, yeah, I haven't seen them. Moving on to costume design. Nominees, Alexandra Byrne for Emma, Anne Roth for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Chris Somerville for Mank, Bina Daigler for Mulan, and Massimo Cantini Perini for Pinocchio. Uh, again, I've seen Mank. There was a new Pinocchio movie. Didn't know that. Uh, Mulan, yeah, I've seen that one. Costumes definitely are really, really gorgeous. But yeah, I'm not sure we should award Mulan with that many uh, awards. Even though I'm pretty sure that Bina Deidler has nothing. Yeah, she did nothing wrong. So yeah, why not? Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have that much to say here. Moving on to directing. The nominees are Thomas Winterberg for Another Round, David Fincher for Mank, Lee Isaac Chung for Minari, Chloe Zhao for Nomadland, and Emerald Fennell for Promising Young Woman. Uh, I really like the fact that it's not such, not just a sausage fest, fest here. I hope that David Fincher doesn't win. So maybe one of the women, who knows? Uh it's quite fun, though, that Thomas Winterberg is on the list. I've seen another round, and I quite enjoyed that one. It's basically about a bunch of teachers who decide that their lives uh, are better when they're a little drunk all the time. So I can definitely relate to that. But yeah, I would say kind of a pretty strong uh, pretty strong director field. Uh, Chloe, Zha Chloe Zhao uh, of Nomadland, she's uh, definitely someone to look out for. Uh, she has uh, Marvel's... Eternals coming out later this year, hopefully. 
So she's, yeah, I mean, basically Marvel knighted her or ladied her or whatever we're going to call that. And I have to admit, Promising Young Woman by Emerald Fennell, I really like that movie. Kind of, yeah, strong, uh, very, very strong, strong script, strong movie, strong direction. So, yeah. Moving on to documentary feature, uh, the nominees are Collective, Alexander Nanao and Bianca Oana, Crip Camp, Nicole Newham, Jim Lee Brecht and Sarah Boulder, The Mole Agent, Mighty Alberti and Marcella Santiabanes, My Octopus Teacher, Peppa Ehrlich, James Reed and Craig Foster, Time, Garrett Bradley, Lauren Domino and Kellen Quinn. I have nothing to say here. I'm really sorry, but yeah, let's. I think these people deserve their names uh, read out. Sometimes wrong by me, anyway. Documentary short subject: Colette by Anthony Giacchino and Alice Doyard. A concerto is a conversation by Ben Proudfoot and Chris Bowers. Do not spit. And there's Hammers and Charlotte Cook. Hunger Ward by Sky Fitzgerald and Michael Sherman. And a love song for Latasha by Sophia Nali, Alison, and Janice Duncan. Again, I w- wish them luck. Film editing. The father, Yorgos Lamprinos. Ah, okay, that's who responsible for that. Okay, interesting. Nomadland by Chloe Zhao. Ah, oh, she, oh, okay. She, she edited her movie herself. Okay, that's interesting. Promising Young Woman, Frederick Torvald, Sound of Metal, Mikkel E.G. Nielsen, and Trial of the Chicago 7 by Ellen Baumgarten. Uh, a lot of love for Netflix and The Trial of the Chicago 7. Uh, also Sound of Metal. Strong editing there as well. Uh, Promising Young Woman. Editing was very, very solid. And again, I haven't seen Nomadland and Yorgos and Prinas, but the fact that uh, kind of directors editing their, editing their own movies. I think that's very, very interesting. So, yeah, who knows? International feature film. Nominees. Another Round from Denmark. Better Days from Hong Kong. Collective from Romania. The Man Who Sold His Skin from Tunisia. And Kowadis Aida from Bosnia-Herzegovina. Uh, I would say, yeah, Another Round is the only one I've seen. And I really like that one. So, yeah, but I'm pretty sure the others are okay as well. I mean, yeah, Bosnia and Herzegovina or Romania, I'm pretty sure they would appreciate an Oscar win as well. Makeup and hairstyling, definitely an expert here. Nominees for Emma, Maurice Langen, Laura Allen and Claudia Stolzi. Hillbilly Elegy, Aaron Kruger, Mekesh, Matthew Mongol and Patricia Dehaney. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Sergio Lopez Rivera. Mia Neal and Jamika Wilson, Mank G.D. Williams, Kimberly Spiteri and Colleen LaBeouf, and Pinocchio, Mark Coulier, Delia Colley and Francesco Pejorotti. Emma was... F- I've seen Emma. That was fine. I think Hillbilly Elegy, that's when I made Glenn Co- Close look kind of weird, so I don't know. Mank, fine as well. And yet again, there is a pin- there was a Pinocchio movie. Okay. Moving on. A category where I have to say a few things. Music, original score. The nominees, Terence Blanchard for The Five Bloods, Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross for Mank, Emile Mosseri for Minari, James Newton Howard for News of the World, and Trent Reznor, Atticus Ross and John Batiste for Soul. Uh, I've listened to all these scores, actually, and I like all of them. I think the, I mean, the Five Blood score, really cool, especially uh, when you watch the movie. Mank, understated, like we're known or like uh, we're used to uh, in scores from Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. James Newton Howard, usually a very reliable choice, and he delivers again. But I think the most interesting, the most fun of these scores is Soul by Trent Reznor, Atticus Ross and John Batiste. Yeah, I think that's uh, where my heart is in this category. Music, original song, Fight For You from Judas and the Black Messiah, 
Hear My Voice from Trial of the Chicago 7, Husavik from Eurovision Song Contest, the story fire, the story of fire saga. Uh, IOC scene from the life ahead and speak now from one night in Miami. I've only uh, heard hear my voice and Husavik. I have to admit though that hear my voice, yeah, not that memorable, or at least I don't remember it. I'd be okay with Husamik, kind of, yeah, have some fun with this category. And the Eurovision Song Contest movie, I mean, it was stupid, but it was enjoyable and fun. Yeah. Best Picture. Nominees. The Father. Judas and the Black Messiah. Mank. Minari. Nomadland. Promising Young Woman. Sound of Metal. And Trial of the Chicago 7. As I said, I haven't seen The Father, Judas and the Black Messiah, Minari, or Nomadland. Of the others, I would say Promising Young Women or Sound of Metal. I really liked Sound of Metal. It's on Amazon Prime, actually. So if you have a chance, uh, check it out. And I would actually quite like a movie like that to win, honestly. Interesting subject matter presented in a very, very interesting way. So, yeah. So, I think Sound of Metal. Production Design. Nominees, The Father. Production Design by Peter Francis. Set decoration by Kathy Featherstone. Marini's Black Bottom. Production Design by Mark Ricker. Set decorations by Karen O'Hara and Diana Stroughton. Mank. Production Design by Donald Graham. Donald Graham Bird. And set decoration by... Jan Pascal. News of the World. Production design David Crank and set decoration Elizabeth Keenan. And Tenet. Production design Nathan Crowley. Set decoration Kathy Lucas. Yeah. It's one of those categories where I can't really say that much. All these movies looked good. Or the, the production design was good. They're probably going to give it to Tenet here or maybe Mank because they don't want or are not giving anything in the other categories, but I don't know. Uh, short film animated, Burrow by Madeline uh, Sharafian and Michael Capbert. Genius Loki by Adrian Maringo and Omari Oviz. If Anything Happens, I Love You, Will McCormack and Michael Govier. Opera by Eric O. Yes People by Gili Dari Hal Dorson and Arnold Gunnarsson. Okay, they're from there. I haven't seen any of those. I wish them all luck. Same for short film live action. Feeling Thorough by Doug Rowland and Susan Rosensky. The Letter Room, Elvira Lind and Sophia Sanderman. The Present by Farah Nebulsi and Osana Bavardi. Two Distant Strangers, Travon Free and Martin Desmond Rowe. And White Eye by Tomer Shoshan and Shira Hockman. Yeah, I wish them luck. Sound, Greyhound, Warren Shaw, Michael Minkler, Bo Borders, and David Wyman. Mank, Ryan Kleis, Jeremy Mullard, pa- David Parker, Nathan Nance, Andrew Coonan. News of the World, Oliver Tarney, Mike Preswood-Smith, William Miller, and John Pritchett. Soul, Ren Kleis, Koya Elliott, and David Parker. Sound of Metal, Nicholas Becker, Becker Jamie Bexht, Michelle Kutulink, Carlos Cortes, and Philip Blatt. Yeah, I would say I've seen Greyhound. That was fine. Kind of a submarine movie. Mank, fine. News of the World, probably fine. Soul, fine. Very good. Sound of Metal had a pretty good sound, honestly, because sound played such a big role in that movie. Yeah, let, let's go for Sound of Metal here. Visual effects, Love and Monsters, Matt Sloan, Genevieve Camilleri, Matt Everett and Brian Cox, The Midnight Sky, Matthew Cosmere, Christopher Lawrence, Max Solomon and David Watkins, Mulan, Sean Faden, Anders Langdon, Seth Murray and Steve Ingram, The One and Only Even, uh, Nick Davies, Greg Fisher, Ben Jones and Santiago Colombo Martinez, Tenet, Andrew Jackson, David Lee, Andrew Lockley and Scott Fisher. Honestly, I would love for Love and Monsters to get it because I really like that movie. 
especially the, the monsters and defects. But it's probably going to go to uh, Tenet. Yeah. And the last two categories. Writing. Writing. Adapted screenplay. Nominees. Borat. Subsequent movie film. Delivery of prodigious bribe to America. American regime for make benefit. Once glorious nation of Kazakhstan. Screenplay by Sasha Baron Cohen. Anthony Hines. Dan Swimmer. Peter Bainham. Eric Ro- Robinot. Noya, Dan Mazur, Jenna Friedman, and Lee Ken. Story by Sasha Baron Cohen, Anthony Hines, Dan Swimmer, and Nina Pedrat. Yeah, cool. The Father, screenplay by Christopher Hampton and Florian Zeller. Nomadland, written for the screenplay by Chloe Zhao. One Night in Miami, Miami, screenplay by Kemp Powers. The White Tiger, written for the screen by Ramin Barani. Uh, again, I've only seen Borat. That movie, I'm not sure if, if if it actually saved American democracy, but yeah, just hearing someone read or uh, read that name out loud, why not? Uh, writing original screenplay, Judas and the Black Messiah, screenplay by Will Burson, Shaka King, story by Will Burson, Shaka King, Jenny Lucas, and Keith Lucas, Minari written by Lee Isaac Chung, Promising Young Woman by written by Emerald Fennell, Sound of Metal screenplay by Darius Martyr. An Abraham Martyr story by Darius Martyr and Derek John France. And Trial of the Chicago 7, written by Aaron Sorkin. I love Aaron Sorkin's writing. I'd go for, and again, I haven't seen Judas and the Black Messiah and Minari, but I'd go for Promising Young Woman or Sound of Metal. Yeah. So, uh, all in all, I think it's a pretty decent list. I mean, obviously, there weren't not all movies who wanted to come out uh, last year came out. Maybe this gave some movies a chance to shine that under normal circumstances wouldn't have had that chi- chance. But yeah, I'm yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to watch the, uh, the ceremony. But I'm definitely interested uh, in how some of these movies are doing. So yeah, especially Sound of Metal. Maybe a little bit of the music for Soul. Uh I would love to see some love for Promising Young Woman as well. But yeah, I'm pretty open field. Let's just agree that Delroy Lindo was robbed. Other than that, they've had the verse list, to be honest. Okay, so this is it for this week. Just a quick announcement. We have something very, very, very special planned for our next episode. The episode will come out a little bit early. So yeah. This goes up Sunday and a special episode you can expect next Thursday. So yeah, look out for that one. You're not going to regret it. This is it for this week. Please like, share and subscribe to our podcast. We're on all major podcasting services and on passionoftheGeeks.com. We're also on YouTube. You can send questions and suggestions to passionoftheGeeks at gmail.com. And you can find us on Twitter at PassionOTGeeks. Take care.